हेलो स्टूडेंट्स द साइड पूजा शर्मा योर फिजिक्स टीचर फ्रॉम कैम्ब्रिज इंटरनेशनल स्कूल द सोआ होप यू आर फाइन एट योर होम एंड यू आर स्टडिंग हार्ड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द नेक्स्ट लेसन ऑफ फिजिक्स इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर मोशन वी डिड द इंट्रोडक्शन स्केलर एंड वेक्टर क्वान्टिटीज एंड देन वी प्रोसीड ऑन विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिस्टेंस एंड डिसप्लेसमेंट If I talk about the scalar and vector quantities, we categorize the quantities in two ways: the quantities which have only magnitude, and they are defined are scalar, which require direction as well are considered to be vector. Okay, for example, your distance is your scalar quantity, and your displacement is your vector quantity. Next, we have done the concept of distance and displacement. Distance is the actual path which we have to follow to reach from one position to another, whereas displacement is the shortest path between the initial and the final position. Okay. Then we did one thing that the displacement depend upon direction. distance do not depend upon a particular direction it can have a random directions okay that is why we say that distance is scalar and displacement is vector now we are going to carry forward the same topic and we are going to learn some new terms okay so what we are going to do today is what is the two there are two types of motion uniform and non uniform motion we are going to understand that in detail and then we are going to do the concept of speed and velocity this is related to distance and displacement okay so let's get started first is <clears throat> uniform and non uniform motion so then before proceeding further it is important to understand what is uniform like if i give you an example the uniform which you are wearing and you are coming to school fine we call that dress as uniform the reason behind this because there is equality it's not that the different students are having different different dresses fine so that dress make an equality all over fine so we say that is a uniform similarly in motion also where you have equality we say it is uniform motion where we don't have equality we say this is non uniform let's start with uniform motion like it's written in the slide uniform motion occurs when an object travels equal distance in equal intervals of time now uh, you have a picture in front of you where a car is there car started from o reaches to a which is 4 meter away then from a it reaches to b which is again 4 meter away then from b it reaches to c that is 12 minus 8 again 4 meter away so the equal distance is covered by car and let's see the time now from o to a the time is given 2 second from a to b the time is again given 2 second from b to c again the time is 2 second it means first 4 meters are covered in 2 seconds next 4 meters covered in 2 seconds next 4 meters again covered in 2 seconds so is there uniformity yes so that is why this kind of motion is called as uniform motion now is non uniform motion let's read the slide first non uniform motion occurs when an object travels different distances in equal intervals of time or we can say same distances in different intervals of time okay for example you have the same picture again but if you see now the times are different the car move from o to a that is 4 minus 0 the distance is 4 meter from a to b 8 minus 4 the distance is 4 meter b to c 12 minus 8 still the distance is 4 meter but in first case o to a the time is 2 second a to b 
टाइम इज थ्री सेकेंड बी टू सी टाइम इज टू सेकेंड्स सो विथ डिस्टेंसेस डिस्टेंसेस आर इक्वल बट टाइम इज नॉट इक्वल सो इन दिस वे इफ द टाइम इज इक्वल डिस्टेंस इज नॉट इक्वल और डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टाइम इज नॉट इक्वल वी कैन से इट इज नॉन यूनिफॉर्म ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ मोशन इज कॉल्ड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इट आई होप इट इज अंडरस्टैंड लेट्स रिवाइज इट सो यूनिफॉर्म मोशन वेन अ बॉडी कवर्स इक्वल डिस्टेंस इन स्ट्रेट लाइन इन इक्वल इंटरवल्स ऑफ टाइम हाउ एवर स्मॉल द इंटरवल्स मे बी वॉट दे आर ट्राइंग टू से इज दैट इट्स नॉट दैट इट हैज टू बी वन आर वन आर वन आर टू आर थ्री आर लाइक दस इट कैन बी वन सेकेंड ऑल्सो इट कैन बी वन मिनट ऑल्सो सो इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द इंटरवल्स इट कैन बी स्मॉल इट कैन बी लार्ज सो इफ इक्वल डिस्टेंसेज आर कवर्ड इन इक्वल टाइम वी से इट इज यूनिफॉर्म इफ अन इक्वल डिस्टेंसेज आर कवर्ड इन इक्वल टाइम और इक्वल डिस्टेंसेज आर कवर्ड इन अन इक्वल टाइम वी से इट इज नॉन यूनिफॉर्म नेक्स्ट इज एवरी स्पीड इज सिमिलर टू द एक्चुअल स्पीड ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ना चिल्ड्रन यू नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द एवरेज यू हैव डन दिस इन योर प्रीवियस क्लास एवरेज वी डू द टोटल ऑफ ऑल द स्मॉल स्मॉल स्लॉट्स नाउ इफ यू हैव यूनिफॉर्मिटी इफ यू हैव यूनिफॉर्म मोशन द एवरेज रिजल्ट इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू द एक्चुअल वन but in case of non uniform it's not going to be so fine don't be confused we are going to do this in the next slide and it will be clear to you okay now we are going to move on to the next topic for today that is speed speed is the distance of the moving object in a given amount of time okay the distance the object cover in particular time we say it is speed or in your general way we can say how fast the object move that is its speed fine its formula is speed is equal to distance over time here you need to understand one thing it's not distance multiplied by time it is distance divided by time there is a reason behind that if you see <clears throat> speed is in numerator and if you look on to the time it is in denominator means they are opposite to one another fine why because they are having inverse relation for example what you can say if you take a lot of time to cover some distance if you take a lot of time and your friend takes just few seconds to cover that particular distance the person who is taking more time it means speed is less the person who is taking less time means the speed is more so they both are opposite to one another that is why the formula is speed is equal to distance divided by time now its si unit speed si unit is meter per second how it is let's do that speed formula is distance divided by time the unit of distance is meter the unit of time is second so speed is equal to meter per second now we have two different types of speeds one is average speed and one is instantaneous speed just clear the word first average means you have to sum total fine and instants means at a particular position got it so if so let's read the definition first every speed the speed the every speed of an object is the total distance traveled by the object divided by the elapsed time to cover that distance means what is the total distance you have covered whatever the small small slots you have covered you have to add those distances divide by the total time you have taken you have to add that also that is going to be your average speed that is what we can say total distance divided by total time instantaneous speed is the instantaneous speed is the speed of the object at a particular moment in time M means if you are going from a place to another and you stop 
लाइक यू आर मूविंग फ्रॉम वन पोजिशन टू अनदर इन बिटवीन एट अ पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द स्पीड दैट इज कॉल्ड द इंस्टेंटेनियस स्पीड दैट इज नॉट द ओवरऑल स्पीड बट एट अ पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट सो दैट इज वॉट वी से इंस्टेंटेनियस स्पीड नेक्स्ट इज वेलॉसिटी वेलॉसिटी इज मेशर ऑफ हाउ फास्ट समथिंग मूव्स इन अ पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन हाउ फास्ट समथिंग मूव्स इज योर स्पीड इन अ पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन इफ यू हैव अ स्पीड विद पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन वी से इट इज वेलॉसिटी क्लियर इट्स फॉर्मुला इज डिसमेंट ओवर टाइम because why we write displacement in speed we have written speed is equal to distance over time but in here it is distance with some particular direction and distance in one direction is what displacement so velocity is equal to displacement over time its si unit is meter per second i hope you understood then same as that of speed velocity is also of two types average velocity and instantaneous velocity Average velocity is its total displacement divided by total time. Again, you have to sum total. Instantaneous velocity is at some specific point. Okay. Now let's do the difference between speed and velocity. Speed is the distance of a moving object in a given amount of time. Velocity is the measure of how fast something moves in a particular direction means the main difference between speed and velocity is direction how fast something move is speed how fast something move in a particular direction is its velocity that is the reason speed is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity because in velocity direction is also mandatory next is speed can never be zero or negative it means it's always going to be positive whereas your velocity can be negative it can be positive it can be zero now children this is the topic which we have for today and i be giving you one worksheet also i be sharing that with you soon so that you can uh, go with that and make your concept more strong and clear If you have any doubt solution also I'll be sharing with you in the next slide so till that stay home stay safe okay and uh, please be healthy thank you thank you so much